Hey everybody, this is Cullen from 3Diligent here with our customer tutorial on submitting an RFQ. So here we've logged into the secure 3Diligent portal. You see the production overview and lifecycle on the top, tutorial videos on the bottom, access to things like Knowledge Center, order an RFQ history, different RFQs and orders in process, and our Create RFQ tool. When you click the Create RFQ button, you're taken inside the uh, tool where first you can enter in the name and description of your project. This is useful for us inside 3Diligent and getting your project matched to the right set of vendors. It's also helpful for the vendors to know how this part fits in with the broader project. So if they have any relevant expertise in the area, they can offer that up straight away. Next, uh, confidentiality provision. Uh, if you want to opt into the confidentiality provision for this project, that is where you would click the box. Next, uploading CAD files. So you're able to upload uh, quite a few CAD files here. STL Step and IGIS are the file types that we accept at 3 Diligent. You also specify which units those uh, particular files are uh, designed in. As you can see, you can remove those files too if you did anything inadvertently. Next, uh, had you had a whole bunch of those designs, you'd specify, hey, are there more than one distinct design in your RFQ or is it just a whole bunch of different file types of the same design? That eliminates confusion on the vendor side. Next, quantity, how many uh, units of each part do you need? When do you need it delivered by? We've got vendors all over the place who will be bidding on these jobs and so the most important thing is not when it's produced, but actually when's it going to be in your hand. And then lastly, material and process. One thing about material and process on the 3 Diligent site is that we offer something called Let Vendor Choose. One of the interesting things about rapid manufacturing is a lot of times it's hard to tell exactly which material is needed. Uh, in the 3D printing world, a lot of materials haven't fully crossed over yet from the traditional manufacturing realm. And similarly for process, it's hard to tell when machining, 3D printing, or injection molding might be best. You can let vendor choose if you'd like. Next finish, you can specify whatever surface finish it is that you've, you'd like for your project. And also specs and tolerances. Uh, here you can upload a PDF drawing of your project. And you can also specify exactly uh, what tolerances need to be held across this part. Uh, and of course, you can do the combination thereof of both a drawing and a description. And then lastly, additional requests. If there's anything in particular that we haven't covered off yet in the Create RFQ field that you want as it relates to your project, could be uh, assurance that certain features will come out in the print, could be an assurance uh, uh, that they will provide an inspection report, really anything that jumps to your mind that you need from this vendor, uh, they'll have the opportunity to uh, add it to their bid and uh, this is where you would request it. In this particular case, the demo customer is requesting a log file from the printer that uh, did the job. Next we get into the uh, nitty gritty of logistics. Here we specify which address it will be shipped to. This allows us to provide a zip code to the vendor so that they can provide you an all-in bid inclusive of sales tax and shipping so that you are not going to have to worry about someone getting you on uh, a whole lot of margin on their shipping effort. And then we also provide you access to some of our payment information straight away. This allows you to get prepared uh, should you get a bid that you want to move on. Uh, bank transfer, PayPal for credit card, and uh, retainer are all options. Uh, then lastly, we're taken to the summary page where you're able to review all the details of your RFQ submission. If you're not ready to submit just yet, you can save it. Or alternatively, you can submit that RFQ. So congratulations, you have submitted an RFQ on the 3Diligent platform. We look forward to getting some bids soon.